Okay. You might want to say that. Uh, at, as is the case with all the new uh, constitutional amendments, that will then move to next year's business meeting for ratification. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have up next? D9, D9 and 10. 9 and 10. Okay. Um, it is currently 12.35. Um, we set debate time for D9 at 10 minutes. We set debate time for D10 at 4 minutes. And you all agreed to those debate times. So I think the sense of the body is that D10 will take less time to talk about than D9. <coughs> Kate, do you wish to? Uh, Mr. Jefferson, motion to amend the agenda to take up the two uh, resolutions before this body instead of the new constitutional amendments. Okay. Uh, Kate is moving to reorder the agenda to take up uh, B, the, the handout entitled Credit to Translators of Written Fiction. Um, that we were ignoring the numbering on because it's confusing, uh, and uh, and an additional resolution or standing rule change that is not yet before the body but will be yes. in a moment uh, if this passes. Uh, a motion to reorder the agenda requires a two-thirds vote. Those in favor of taking up uh, the the resolution and standing rule change um, as our items of business, uh, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against. And the motion passes. So the item before us is the resolution um, that was uh, given out in a handout that is entitled Credit to Translators of Written Fiction. I'm going to propose a debate time of uh, four minutes for this. Is there any object to four minutes? Hearing none. Wait, are you objecting? Oh, you have the handouts. Okay. If you don't yet have the handout, you can get it from Gareth. <laughs> Hearing no objections to the debate time of four minutes, debate is set at four minutes. Uh, does one of the uh, makers of the motion which to, wish to speak to it? Okay, I'll recognize Mark, Mark Richards up at the podium. Uh, hello, um, my name is Mark Richards, he, him, his. Um, I have some commentary on this. Uh, and uh, as advice to the secretary, um, I already have transcribed it and can forward it to her. You didn't give me any commentary. What's that? She, he, he will. Okay. I, will I, I will give it to her. Okay. I will email it to her. The choice of translator for work fiction can make the difference on the impact of a work fiction, uh, the, oh, I'm sorry. The choice of translator for work of fiction can make the difference on the impact of that work of fiction in translation in comparison to its impact in its original language. Fluency in the original language may be enough for good translation. We feel that familiarity with the context in which a work was written adds to the quality of the result, and that a translator's contribution therein can make a great difference. For example, Yu Si Shin's The Three-Body Problem would, have been, would not have been nearly as successful had Ken Yu not gotten all of the nuance of Chinese history during the Cultural Revolution and been able to transmit that emotional impact. And there is a collection of connected short stories, Kelp Imperial, by the Argentine author Angelica Gorodisha. Any decent translator, I imagine, could have given us a good translation. It was the late Ursula Le Guin, however, whose prose style was perfect in giving us as fine a work in English as it presumably was in the original Spanish. Closing, we feel that a translator's contribution to the success of a story merits recognition in the awarding of the Hugo. Will the, uh, the Max Chairperson, yes. will the uh, speaker yield to a question? I don't believe the speaker has time for a question. There's no time left. 
Okay. Uh, thank you. That was a speech in favor. Um, is there a speech against? I'll recognize uh, Kemp Bloom up at the microphone. Max Chairperson, my name is Kent Bloom, and uh, I am somewhat confused about what this is actually trying to do. If it's talking about awarding trophies, that is completely within the authority uh, of the administering Worldcon. If it's talking about giving credit as a Hugo, that's a constitutional problem and needs to either be referred to the uh, Hugo Awards Committee or dealt as a Constitution Amendment. In either case, I don't believe that it is appropriate for this body to make a resolution uh, to this effect. Thank you. That was a speech against. We are out of time for a speech in favor. Is there anyone else wishing to speak against? I recognize Ben Yellow up at the podium. You were a little hot on the, <laughs> the stand there, so just Give like half a second. Oh, you've got a minute and a half. Take one more. Couple of issues. Uh, What's there's your a name? technical. Uh, sorry, Ben Yellow, he, him. There's a couple of issues. Some are technical. Um, in fact, we do not award Hugo's to authors of works. We award Hugo's to works. The author happens to like to claim credit for it, but it is the work, it is not the author that is being awarded that Hugo. So that in fact, we don't have authors being credited with Hugos. Why should we start crediting translators? Um, the other is a much more complicated thing. Yes, I agree that a good translator can make a huge difference. But, you know, so can a good editor. And we do not give an award to, we, while we give awards for editors, it's for all of their work during the year. If you have a particular work where the editor botches it, you're going to get a bad story. But having been fortunate enough to be exposed to a bunch of slush stuff, uh, let me tell you, a good editor can find a brilliant work inside slush, and that editor doesn't get credit for the book. Um, a good cover illustrator can manage to convince somebody to buy the book, no matter how good or bad it is, because, oh my god, I want that cover. You are out of time. Uh, yes. Are you wishing to make a motion? Yes. Josh, he, him. I move to extend debate uh, by two minutes per side. Is there a second? Hearing none, debate is not extended, and we are out of second. time. So I'm second. sorry? Second, sorry. Okay. I will remind everyone, as I said previously, that we are trying to extend grace to the people in this room. And so if you take a second longer, if you take a moment longer to second, then maybe people in this room would prefer, that's fine and I will allow it. So the motion to extend debate has been seconded. Uh, two minutes, you said? Yeah, sure. Four, minutes. four minutes, okay. The motion to ex extend debate by four minutes has been seconded. Uh, all those in favor, please raise the hand. Thank you. All those against? The motion to ex extend debate fails, and so we will move to a vote. All those in favor of the resolution entitled Credit to Translators of Written Fiction, please raise the hand. Thank you. All opposed? And the resolution does not pass. At this time, I would like to recognize Kate Secor up at the podium. And then pause a second so the secretary can catch up. I want to copy that. Send it to business meeting app. It's an email. Yeah, we're not a student. About 
20 minutes ago. Oh, I haven't looked yeah. at my mail since the beginning of the business. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought I told you about it. Um, hang on. I'll, I'll get it in here. And okay, we're going to take a brief standing pause to get it up on a slide, if that's okay, Kate. Yeah. Okay. If you want to just type it into a slide, I can give you the wording. I have it written down. Well, I want to make sure that what gets made is what's on the screen, and oh, that there's not yeah, accidentally true. a difference. Yeah, you're right. yeah, that's true. Yeah. I might still. Off. It is a standing rule change. Oh, that's like an account change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I just wasn't no. sure if we we, we to... remember things for you. Thank you. Yeah. No. Autocorrect decided to turn this on and that's when I were <laughs>